Well, hello everyone. I thought I would come on and show you something that I've been working with and um, that I've learned and thought maybe it might help some of you out there. I have a little garden growing on my neighbor's property. We share the produce and I do the work and he provides the land. And um, so there's a little pond down there and I've got a little Honda generator that I use to uh, power a little pool pump so that I can pump the water up to some 55 gallon barrels where I can uh, water the garden, irrigate the garden. And um, not only is it wearing out the generator, but even though it's economical and runs real well, it's a little Honda generator, so it does real well. Um, but the noise and constantly putting gasoline in it to make it work, over time it's just going to wear it out and there's better ways to do things. So after doing some reading and learning about something that somebody else was doing, I thought, my goodness, maybe I can find a, a real good simple little pump that will do about the same kind of thing that I need to have done and operate off of solar without a battery and without a charge controller. So I started doing some research on the internet and I'm gonna show you what I found out. So this is the pump and um, it's very small. You can see, I'll hold it in my hand. It's very small. And you can see the information right there. I'll provide a link and so forth in the comments below, in the description below. Um, and then I put a, over this barbed hose nipple, I put a little plastic uh, hose, and then I forced down this, uh, it looks like, a, I think it's a half inch um, hose nipple on top of it and it fits nice and snug. The only thing I don't particularly like about this is it's got a very small, it has a very small um, wire coming out of it. Let's see here. You can see how small this wire is right there. Very small. <clears throat> but as long as it's not getting moved around too much, I think everything will be fine. But the point is to match up a solar panel with this little pump. This little pump takes, I believe it's uh, 22 um, watts of power. And um, it can pump apparently seven meters or around 21 feet and you know up as far as the head head pressure <clears throat> okay and so this is a solar panel I found it's the same kind of a solar panel that is used for gate openings uh, for people's property like if they're going to power a remote control gate and you see it's got 30 watts 30 watts of power it generates and um, this one didn't have any uh, wires cut that came with it but I just took the panel off and hooked up some wires and everything is fine so this is the uh, solar panel that I got to operate that little pump and uh, both of them together came to 
less than, I think about $80, something like that, maybe less, uh, with shipping and everything. Um, so less than $100 for this setup, and I don't have to use any gas to make it work. No noise, just sits there quietly, collecting the sun and converting it into energy to run the little pump. And um, so we're going to uh, watch it, see it in operation. But one of the things I'm going to be doing is taking that little pump because it need to, need to have a, something to protect it, keep from trash from getting into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this little pump inside of this um, old... Uh, water jug and then I'm gonna put the hose that comes out of it come up to the top and the electric cable and then in, around to cover this up I'm gonna put some uh, scr some old screen over it to keep trash from getting in there but uh, I've got a pretty good situation anyway because uh, I have a 55-gallon barrel floating in the pond with an inner tube around the middle of it, and the bottom has holes in it, so no real debris gets in there. But I'll show you that in a little while. So here's the solar panel and the pump together. This stand is what I'm going to fasten the solar panel to. And it'll just sit there and operate whenever I throw the switch. But uh, here's a close-up of the pump working. This would be good for people who have pools and have a fountain that they want to operate. Here's the solar panel out here, just powering it away. So I'm pumping from down in this little pond down here. You can see that my generator is there on the right. <clears throat> and so here is where the where the water is being pumped from inside of this 55-gallon uh, barrel. And so, and you see there's a, that's a tractor tire that's inflated around the middle and that keeps, uh, keeps the uh, barrel floating with about a foot of water, about a foot of the barrel below the water. And that's where the pump is. There's holes in the barrel. It keeps the trash out of the barrel by doing it this way. And so basically it's pumping from here all the way up to the garden area to those barrels. And also up there to the what uh, IBC containers. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the elevation is, but I'm going to take a rough guess and say it's no more than 10 feet up there from down here. So it's pumping quite well and costing me nothing to do it. So it don't matter how long it takes to fill it up as long as it doesn't cost me anything to do it. This, this is powered by the sun. How do you like that? Pretty amazing. This is in the top of an IBC container. <laughs>